In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Murph.ai voice changer. So in this Murph.ai tutorial, I'm not going to be going over all the other features of Murph. I'm going to be specifically focusing on the voice changer in Murph.ai. So this is for people who want to change their own voice into an AI voice. So the Murph.ai voice changer feature is also really useful if you don't yet have a script written out and you don't have time to write it. So it's much quicker and easier to speak into a microphone, record your voice and save it to an MP3 or MP4 file and then upload that to Murph.ai. Now, if you want to test this out yourself, then I've left a link in the description below this video to the Murph.ai free plan where you can come here and click this button to open the studio and then start playing around with a lot of the Murph.ai features yourself. All you need to do is enter an email and a password, no credit card needed, and then you'll have access to the free plan and you can start playing around with the features. Now, to use the Murph.ai voice changer feature, once you're logged into your account, you need to come to this button here to create project, and then you can name your project here if you want to, and select audio, and we're gonna select this one here to start blank. Click create project. Now here on the left hand side, you'll see there's an option here for the voice changer. So if we click this, now we get an option to upload a audio file. This can be MP3 or MP4. Now I've recorded a sample of my voice already and let's grab that file. Now before I drop it into the Murph.ai voice changer, it's going to play you a sample of it just so you know what I said. So then you can compare it to the AI voice that we select. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your voice into an AI voice using the Murph.ai voice changer. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop this into the voice changer. And now Murph is asking us which language we want to translate this into, which is awesome. So imagine if you want to change this into a different language, call it in one language, and then you can convert it into a different language with an AI voice. I'm going to keep it on English though. Click yes to continue. Okay, so upload completed. Now here, Murph has transcribed that audio of my voice into text, and it's already selected one of the AI voices by default. But I can click on this avatar here, and then they've already selected Nate. I can scroll through here and choose a different AI voice. So let's go with someone I haven't tried before. I'm gonna try Edmund. Click select, and now to generate the audio, I need to click on this play button here. Now Murph.ai will take a sec just to render this content to Edmund's voice, and now I can click play, and let's see what this sounds like. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your voice into an AI voice using the Murph.ai voice changer. So if you don't have time to write out your script, or if you just want to change your voice into an AI voice, then this video will show you exactly how to do it. That was great, I quite like that. Now let's see what it sounds like in a female voice. So I come back to here and I'm going to select uh, Natalie. Let's hear her voice. So I click the generate button. This is going to render the content to her voice. And let's click play. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your voice into an AI voice using the Murph.ai voice changer. Okay, her voice is pretty good. It's a little bit fast, so I'm just gonna slow her down slightly. And also let's just insert a couple of pauses. So if I put the cursor where I want the pause and click add pause, I'm gonna choose an extra weak pause here. And then I'm gonna put another pause here, another weak pause. And then let's put one here. And then I'm going to click this button to regenerate the audio. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your voice into an AI voice using the Murph.ai voice changer. Okay, it does sound better, but it's a bit weird with so many pauses. I'm going to just put that in to show you guys what you can do. So of course you can also change the pitch, you can change the pronunciation even on some words, and also you can add emphasis on some words as well. So you can really tweak this, get it sounding even more human-like. So let's make one more change. We can take one of these pauses out. And I'm going to put some emphasis on some words. So let's go to this emphasis button. And I'm going to select uh, AI and voice, AI voice. Let's put emphasis on here. And then we generate the audio and then let's hear what it sounds like. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your voice into an AI voice using the Murph.ai voice changer. Cool. So you can hear a little bit of an inflection there on the AI voice changer. So once you're happy with your voice, you can export your audio file by coming up to the top here to click export. And then you get multiple options to either export it as a voice only, or you can add music in the background of your voice, you can export it as a video, and you can download your script again. And you've got various file formats to download it as well. And also you can select the quality if you want low, medium, or high quality. Click download, and that will download it to your computer. Now, if you want to test this out yourself, and I've left a link to the free plan of Murph.ai in the description below this video, and if you want to see a full demo of all the AI voice features inside Murph.ai, and I'll also let you listen to a good selection of lots of different voices that are inside the Murph.ai library, then this is the next video you want to watch.